I cried every single day. Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today is a very interesting, um, I would say TMI kind of video, but I'm really um, excited to make this video for you girls and maybe guys guys as well because it's good to know these things and it's good to like if you have a girlfriend or a sister that's on a pull then you should know these things and it's it's good information but yeah so i'm really glad to be making this video i've been wanting to do this for a while now i've put out some information on instagram about me being on the pull and i got a lot of questions on being on the pull so i thought you know what maybe i should just make a video about it um so basically, uh, let's just get into some personal info. I'm 20 years old. I started the pull this year. I've had my period from the time I'm 13, so grade 7. Yeah, so grade 7 when I was 13 years old. Okay, so how did it happen? When did it start? Um, which pull am I on? Getting into all of that. So first things first. I just want to say that I feel like people really when you say the pull everybody's like dun 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 but it's not really like that and it's not scary it's not gonna destroy your life completely relax oh and by the way just saying no my hand had an accident with audio he we got a new we got a new hair dryer so we put the hair dryer on and he's not used to the sound so he was in my hand and he just jumped and scratched me and ran and now it's like really really deep anyways so firstly i'm uh well secondly i'm on the my nerva pull if that's how you say it it looks like this let me see if the name is here yeah the name is here i hope you can see it i've been on the pull for like i think okay let's see september october for like four months five months four months five or four months right now for those of you who don't know what the pill is what the birth control is basically it's pills that you take every day which give you would like basically pumps more hormones into your body for certain for certain reasons like preventing pregnancy helping with regulating your period and for me most especially is my pcos which is polycystic um, ovary syndrome basically what that is i'm just going to read all the definitions so i don't make a mistake is um it's a hormonal disorder where i have i have enlarged ovaries with small cysts on the outer edges right and this leads to irregular periods um really bad pain when i get my periods when i used to get my periods before the pull I used to faint, have hot flashes, um, vomit. My period pain used to be so bad. I used to like, I, I used to like punch the wall all the time because do you know like to get the pain of somewhere else because my pain was hectic. And when I went into the gynecologist to talk about it, she was like, "Yeah, your pain is almost is like um, almost giving birth. You dilating you." And they say, oh, like one centimeter, two centimeter. It's like a one to two centimeter kind of pain when you're giving birth. That is how my period pain was. So when you think about it like that, you're just like, okay, I lowkey was giving birth, guys. Great. So, um, yeah, so basically that's why I went on the pool. I was like, no, nah, I can't take this anymore. This pain is crazy. And turns out I have that, which is... Um, really hectic and if you don't know whether you have it or not or you just want to know if or how you get it or how you know that you have it basically like i said irregular periods uh lots of acne if you guys have followed me on my journey you know acne is a problem for me and as you can see my skin is really clear now that i'm on the pull and another thing is hair growth you guys know my hair situation um super hairy and then the other one which is me though is obesity um but they do say that lower stomach area basically your pelvic area and whatever is um has a lot of fat build up and, uh, and it's more like there's more fat there and it looks larger than your other parts of your body which i've seen but mine's more like bloating from that not like actual fat it just i bloat a lot so it is a problem 
um, but yeah so the pool helps with that and that's what birth control is for and you can get onto the pool I'm sure from whenever you get your period and sometimes I know a girl that is on the pool because she didn't get her period yet well not yet but like she's she was already 13 and then she didn't get a period so they put on the pill and you get your period to to to, to regulate it basically so even if you're not sure you can always google things google helps guys make sure you read up or read it up on a well-known site and stuff like that but if you're curious please you have to learn about it and, um educate yourself on it you might never know you might need the pill or you say you're on the pill people are like <laughs> and i promise it's not that bad it does have its issues but things that i've been monitoring i haven't put on weight i haven't lost weight um like i said my acne has gone away which is a good thing uh it clears up your face my period pain is minimal Oh yeah, and also your period, when you get your period, it isn't a heavy flow, like my flow, oh my goodness, bro, my flow used to be so crazy, but now it's like minimal, because when you're on the pole, you don't really get your period, right, it's just your, it's just normal blood from your uterus that comes out every month, it's not the lining of your uterus, remember the period blood that comes out of you, every month is your uterus lining now obviously when you're on the pill the pill prevents pregnancy so they know the, your body is so smart it knows you're not gonna get pregnant because you're in the pill so they won't put that outer lining in your uterus in case you're pregnant so you won't get that this is just like normal bleeding from your uterus the side effects that i've witnessed and have had which was so major and hectic were firstly um depression uh, anxiety like lethargic and sleepy all the time and having like no energy so let's just get into the first part of it yo guys i think for the first two or three months i cried every okay no the first month i was fine once the pull started kicking in like in the second month and third month i cried every single day for anything and everything i would when I had to wake up out of bed, I would cry. When I had to go and shower, I'd be like, I have to shower, cry. When I used to eat food and just say, I wanted more food, I would cry. It was so crazy. I laughed most of the time when I was crying because I was like, what is happening right now? I'm not really into crying, I would say. So this is like, it was so weird for me because I was always crying no matter what. Uh, when I used to go to work in the morning, like morning rush and emotions, I would cry on the way to work. When I used to go home, I used to cry. Things were so hectic, guys. So hectic. And then the sadness kind of led to me being sleepy and lethargic because you know when you say you don't really jump for joy, eh? you sit down and you like, you know. So I used to always be sleeping or in, in my bed. Up till now, I'm still like always in my bed. Um, just going down to eat not really talking much I don't really talk much anymore um, That that's not weird for me because I'm like introverted but I don't like to interact a lot because that makes me sad and then I get lethargic and people are like she just switched like that but it's just my pull and the way things are but sometimes when it's like obvious I'm like guys no it's just my pull relax continue with the conversation don't worry about me i'm just gonna go cry in the bathroom so now like even with like sleeping i'm really like i have i honestly have no energy most of the time and very to myself very like um i wouldn't say laid back but i'm like a step back out of how i was because i was a bit more interactive more energetic you know more like on the colorful side of life but it's not as bad as you think or how i'm making it seem because you your body gets used to it your mind gets used to how you are so now when i cry i just cry throw away the tears and move on um and sleepiness you can't really do anything but just go with the flow because that is the effect of a pull it's gonna happen you know what if i want to have if I want to have less pain when I'm on my period, if I want to sort this out, it's gonna I'm gonna have to sacrifice something. I'm good with staying in my bed the whole day. I feel like 
I'm not an extrovert, so it's not like a very like major thing for me. I'm one of those people that are outgoing and you know energetic all the time and interactive. Then you're gonna see a big, big, big change in how you act around people. Act on a normal day, it will change your way. Um, thankfully, though, I haven't put on weight. I haven't lost weight. That is just the same for me. Um, with regards to like eating and stuff, I'm always big on eating, so that hasn't changed. I think we need to realize is pushing hormones into you. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna change. It has to change. And there's nothing to worry about. If you are determined to go on a pull, don't be scared. Because trust me, you can you can survive it. It's it it'll work for you. And I've been so happy that I don't have heavy flows and I'm not in pain all the time. I can enjoy myself do what I want, I know when my period is coming. So this is your normal days, and the white ones is when you would get your period. So you'll go according to the back. They probably have like a silver line or a different color line, right? So when you start your pack, you'll say start in this color here. There's uh, seven days in a week, so just say you get your pull on Thursday, you buy your pulls, so you start on Thursday, you work your way up, and then you got the arrows to show you, show you, show you. Show. And then you come, 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 and then you come to your white ones, which is your period. Now mine's all over the place because I missed a few days. I was away from home, so I didn't have my pulse with me, so I missed a few days to take it, and then I couldn't go buy my pull because it was during Black Friday and the pharmacy was crazy, so I was like, you know, just leave it, it's okay. But yeah, so then when you get here, you know when your period's coming. So that like really helps when, just say you're planning something, and you're like, okay, I don't know when I'm getting my period. No, you're gonna know when you get, get your period. So for me, right now, I'm gonna be taking these pulls this week right um i'm not gonna take my white ones because i don't want to get my period for christmas and i know if i take it now i mean when I, next week i'm gonna get my period for christmas so i'll just skip it and then i'll go and get my new pack for the i'll skip my pulls for a week which is fine i have researched it and checked everything out and then i'll go get my pulls the next week so that is an advantage of the pull is that you can actually control when your period comes and you can know when it comes so you can be prepared yeah so i think that's basically it nothing too major but if you do have questions on anything regarding the poll you can hit me up on instagram i will answer your question help you if i can or i can refer you to someone who can help i know people that can help you um but yeah so i hope you guys learned something today i hope you um realize that the pull isn't scary and sometimes you do need it and i hope you learn something about pcos today because before the pull i didn't know what that was i actually had no clue about this and scary knowing that i had it all these years and i didn't even know it existed if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and check out my instagram i'll see you tomorrow for another day of vlogmas bye <laughs>